I'm trying to exit from Microsoft Money, and it's asking if I want to make a backup. Is this the same thing as saving our file? No. Our money file is actually saved automatically whenever we enter a transaction. And whenever we close money, it automatically makes a backup copy of our file on our hard disk. But every couple of weeks, or however often we want, money will ask if we'd like to make a backup copy of our file on a floppy disk. That makes sense. So if something happens to one file, like it gets lost or corrupted for some reason, we have another file to fall back on. And if something happens to our computer's hard disk, we have a copy of our file on a floppy disk. Well, you and I both know it's always a good policy to have two or three copies of anything important. Right. Especially where our financial records are concerned. Does it have to be saved on a floppy disk? Could we save it to another disk drive? We can save it anywhere we want. We just go to the Tools menu, click Options. Let me guess. The Backup tab. You got it. So it always saves a backup on our hard disk automatically. And however often we specify, it'll save another backup somewhere else. Like on our removable disk drive. But if our removable disk drive doesn't show up here for some reason, we can always just copy the backup file we made on our hard drive to the removable disk drive later. And this is where we can tell money to compress our file, so it doesn't take up too much room. That's especially important if we decide to keep our backup files on a floppy disk. We click OK, and our file backup options are set the way we want. So this backup file, is it just like any other money file? No, it's different. It's a compressed backup file. If we want to open it, money needs to decompress it to its normal size and then convert it to a regular money file. So suppose, for whatever reason, we need to use our backup file. What would we do? First, we find the backup. If we're using a backup stored on our hard disk, we click Restore Backup on the File menu. OK. And then click Restore from a Backup File. And click Next. This is easy. It shows us where our backup file is and the last time it was changed. We can look at all the information to make sure it's the right file. Here are the file names, the date, and the size. And if we want a different backup file, like the one from our floppy disk, I bet we click Open a Different Backup File. Right. Money searches our computer for any other backup files. How does money recognize a backup file? By the file name extension. A regular money file has three letters after its name, MNY. The file name extension for a money backup file is MBF. So when money finds all our backup files, we just pick the one we want. And then click Restore. We confirm the location where we want the file to go, as well as the file name we want it to have. This file name needs to be unique so we don't accidentally overwrite another backup or overwrite the money file itself. Money converts the backup to a regular file. So it's changing the MBF file to an MNY file. And it opens it up for us. We can check to make sure the file has the information we need. If it doesn't, we can restore a different backup. Here's another question. Since we just bought a new computer, we now have two. One for you and one for me. But our money file is on the old computer. What if we decide we want to move it to the new one? We can just save the backup file on a floppy disk. We can then copy from the disk onto the new computer. But a floppy disk only holds 1.44 megabytes. What if the file is bigger than that? Our money file grows larger as we add more and more transactions. Couldn't it become as big as 6 megabytes or more? We don't have to worry about it. Money knows to break up the file to fit onto multiple floppy disks. Oh. And then when we restore the file on our new computer, it puts the file back together. But we need to be sure to keep our copies straight so we don't mix up our actual money file. It's easy to manage our money files when we need to. I agree. And with backup files, we can be sure that our information and money is safe and secure.